Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. So I am back after some time at the Good News Radio. It's great to be back. The time right now is 3.23 p.m. on Saturday, the 19th of October. So a very warm welcome to all of you who are listening in and tuning in today. We hope that you're having a lovely Saturday morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are listening from. And as we dive deep into our next segment, we have three special guests today at the radio. As Vishwi said, we are a bit cramped up here, but enjoying the atmosphere and very much so the weather has been very nice today i heard that it has been raining the past couple of days and we have a bit of sunshine today and it's not too hot as well so overall a very nice weather and uh, let's start our good volunteer segment uh, with mr kushil gunasekara here in the audience so kushil why don't you introduce our guests first and then uh, we'll Sachikala, take it before that there. i just want to ask you how come you took a break because you never take a break and nothing is permanent, I know. But uh, you come here every Saturday. I, I didn't take a break. Are I then? just didn't come to the good news radio. Oh, really? But I didn't see you last week. Only last ah, week I took go. a break. So when you, when you don't come, it's very noticeable. <laughs> so <laughs> last week yeah? I had this uh, thing in Back my pain. shoulder. Okay. And I was asked not to come in the train. Okay. So that's why I couldn't I'm, come. I'm glad your parents are here. And your in-laws are here dropping you. But now I'm okay and I can come. Okay. <laughs> That's very good news. Um, I'm glad to have Sashikala here. And also, Natali, who is going to be our English little star brand ambassador. Just imagine what good news. She speaks so well. And um, I'm so pleased to see this young, up-and-coming, you know, um, girls of her age group you know, coming forward to speak English just like the way Sashikala does. So, that's amazing. And we are going to actually uh, pin this badge on her today uh, called English Little Star because she, the other day, other last Saturday, she promised um, Stephanie uh, Sirivadana was here and said that I can do uh, to inspire others of my age group like my peers to pick to speak English the same way she does. And what a beautiful, confident, you know, lady she is. And amazing. So, um, from today, she has a big role to play to inspire others to try and get them to speak English like the way she does. Yes, so Natali has been uh, part of the Good News Radio and since... Your, and in your class too. Yes, it seems of reason, but now she's almost like a permanent part of the Good News Radio. And I think for Natali's exceptional use of the language, and not just language, but speaking skills as well, in terms of confidence, and usually even in class, she would be the first one to answer a question, and then she would keep answering. So when I ask questions, I have to say, Natali, not you. Uh, let's uh, get someone else to answer now. So she's always 
been that and I think because of that Natali there's a special badge arranged for you and the badge is not just a badge I think it signifies a lot so the significance here is that you I believe you are the first English little yeah. star from the foundation yeah. of academy Absolutely. So yeah. no pressure what but a <laughs> but a huge responsibility to carry forward so that you can inspire others and others can look up to you and speak good english like you without any fear so that's and if, and if sashikala doesn't come we have a substitute now yeah. to get uh, natali on the show and natali is also going to ask our three very special uh, volunteers and associates of the foundation of goodness some great questions i think Okay before let's begin um we have Ashan here um from the US embassy um you know he represents uh, productive activities that uh, you know US embassy does at grassroots level probably uplifting the youth and looking at different areas of how to elevate the standards uh, in, in probably at grassroots level then you know he was here when the you know basketball mba and uh, wnba stars were here he coordinated on behalf of the uh, american embassy and then actually um, we were identified to facilitate so that's how we built this friendship and when ashan came here uh, he he is, is a good observer and he he is actually he's got a nice nature about him to help others because he's also come from a background you know where he knew he, what his journey was so he was the first to put up his hand and say I'll do a motivational workshop one day when you're ready and and I called him and immediately he said let's do it you know that's the spirit very positive confident and very supportive and helpful and so he actually he had a friend of his called uh, Dimutu and Dimutu does uh, HR management and he he joined as well uh, to today to motivate about 35 kids from housekeeping from um, the other course I think was uh, is it English IT IT and also uh, Japanese some of the uh, uh, students who learn Japanese also came for the workshop and I think they've done a very good job there's a great feedback you know I always want to motivate uh, encourage and inspire these students you know who are uh, coming from rural backgrounds that we cater to different kind of courses and you know sectors so um, you know when they come and do this motivate they, they can't actually pay for a motivational kind of uh, session so for them to come you know ashan and dibutu to come and spend some time and uh, give attention and their time you know is very unique as i always speak giving of one's time is something that you can never take back right so it's priceless it's priceless you know there are resources knowledge you know uh, energy that you know uh, like probably when money wise you can always get that back but it's not easy to come and volunteer like the way you do every saturday you know you give up your time you you imagine one and a half years every saturday almost so it's something very unique very extraordinary sensational uh, i'm not sure that i was able to do that uh, when i was at your age uh, you know although i started to you know be good and do good to others from you know from age 10 but each one of us have different strengths uh, that we need to gain and you know foster and, and and in the spirit of you know giving you know that's amazing what they've done and you know when you do you know your best fathers you experience the best for yourself and sometimes miracles are just good kind hearted people and that's what happens so he and uh, dimut came and uh, did some amazing work to motivate them they've taken notes they've said the feedback is great i hope they will follow up and do as they said because sometimes theory uh, is one thing but translating that into action is another so they can speak and tell so many things but they have to travel that journey by themselves so uh, ashan thanks very much for coming here uh, it's been a great pleasure to have you you came unasked which is a very superior uh, deed in my book and uh, 
we can't thank you enough uh, just being inspired and and knowing the the background uh, how you wanted to help is absolutely remarkable over to you ashan Thank you, Kushal. Uh, thank you so much for inviting us, myself, Dimuthu, here. <coughs> I remember a uh, few months back, I was here for like a different perfect purpose, but then I realized what I was delivering here, and somehow it touched my heart. I felt like like I need to be involved with you and uh, this program. So that's how we thought like I should do something. for these kids because i also came from a very humble background where my parents they never spoke english or we never had some of the facilities the so called uh, kind of a, a kalambu people the student had but still do i stuck in kalambu i would say like always my heart with my village our students who needs our help so thank you so much for inviting us uh looking forward to like work with you all again and again and you have a like a wonderful kids the youth uh, i would say the future leaders who are engaged here thanks so much yeah i mean uh, not everyone can do what uh, you did uh, there there are uh, of course very special people in our country who can take the time like you did and not only you wanted to come but you also brought your f- good friend uh dimuthu along and he from an hr uh, point of view also i think uh, gave a lot of different areas uh for their insight uh into how they can you know lead their you know future into you know being uh, successful in their own whatever chosen field so uh it's amazing um to see the two of you i can't thank you enough gratitude is the best attitude and uh, you know I, i wanted to bring you to the good news radio before you left because of the good work that you did i mean in this in this good news uh, radio we only promote good news so we positive news um invaluable contributions are recognized you know we want change makers we want things to happen you know so um I'm glad you you you're here um uh, you you delivered your promise uh, uh, as undertaken so we are indeed very grateful uh would uh, dimuthu say something as well or yeah. hi uh so first thing i would have to say this is the first time i'm being in a radio so, <laughs> <laughs> so anyway so ashan invited me to do a kind of session for the uh, this institute so i thought of why not because i also coming uh, that kind of background so it's like this uh, we have achieved our targets being hard working and the grabbing the opportunities time to time but it's time to deliver what we have learned to the society so that that is what we are seeking, seeking right now so this is a good opportunity to me as well so that's why i joined with the ashan so in the our session i mainly asked them to invite their key uh, strength or the key uh, focus to the uh, the skill set because uh, without investing at least one or two years for the, their key strength they won't be able to achieve their goal so that's what i was focusing and few interview techniques and the uh, what a person or what a company or the what into panel is expecting from an employee right. so that's what i delivered to them but other than that uh, what i want to uh, stress on them is focus what is your key strength and invest your time that what you have more mm. right now so invest uh, that your time to your core skills then you will be eventually pick up what is the right direction so that's what i emphasize at the uh, that session so thank you kushal for giving yeah. the opportunity to uh, give something to the society and thanks for the ashan as well because they are like uh, a couple where we go we go as a friends so we are from the university as well same university so thanks again for the opportunity thanks kushal yeah. thanks uh dimuthu uh, you know uh, i i heard when when you and ashan actually took on this uh you know session to motivate and inspire these kids uh they were very interactive and they were willing to learn you know uh, unfortunately they lack the ability to go forward speaking in english they have that fear factor they are shy 
and they feel english is hard i don't know for whatever reason uh they are not willing to express themselves and i'm telling them at least learn two three words a day and try to go ahead as much as you can like how natalie has found her own way you know uh she's an example and uh, actually ashan and dimuthu i want to again convey my heartfelt gratitude and you know i've always think that helping those who cannot repay the favor defines compassion and also the true hallmark of your character and the nature because it's easy to give you know when somebody asks you or okay if it's easy to say yes when someone asks but it is never the same when someone out of their own good will of the heart says you know we want to do something so in that context i want to really thank the two of you from the bottom of my heart on behalf of the foundation of goodness you know uh, you continue to uh, inspire these kids and they 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 have no way to attend seminars that they have to pay 10000 rupees probably for a day there's no way but the value addition that the two of you have given is absolutely exemplary so uh, we want to thank you really from the bottom of the bottom of my heart so i think <laughs> I believe a very timely workshop uh, or a session that was conducted today because uh, it's no secret that today's youth do lack employability skills so thank you again for doing that a very timely initiative and so I would like to ask questions but I would like to take a back seat and we have two stars today who will ask uh, questions from you so we have Patun and Natali and by the way Patun uh Uh, and mithun uh, are twins and i can still never uh, mithun is not here patum is here but i can never uh, distinguish the difference between him and his brother i always call the wrong name uh, but the, the thing that you all should know is that um, they went to the same school they got three years they about to go to the university in the same subjects they got the three years and he was the head prefect and the brother was the deputy head prefect so that's another record so uh, and, and they're so eager to learn english uh, and they've come forward so patum will ask the first round of questions and we'll give natali as well at age 12 she's waiting to have a good go at ashan and devadu good evening all of you uh, first of all thank you for coming today to foundation goodness Uh, my first question is fro- to from uh, Mr HR <laughs> I don't know what's his name Mr uh, uh what kind of ex- uh, remarkable experience have you met in your path uh, remarkable experience in sense th- in the sense uh, when you are in being in the HR first thing is you have to listen to the people and you have to uh, be passionate to work with the people because in original i am a statistician my original degree is business statistics but uh, due to my passion i am into the hr so uh, what i in short sense i what i have to say is uh, listen to the people sometimes you do not have to do much more rather than the listening so when you are listening carefully to them just that enough to do a good thing to them so other than that uh, my, i always believe that uh, people behavior can be analyzed so that's why my motivated and that's my passion thank you so much uh, what kind of challenges and how was your uh, path uh, can you elaborate it please uh, what kind of challenges have you made in your path yes career path career path in the sense okay uh, patum uh, uh, before that i would say you ask a question from hr guys they will never ever like give you elaborate answers <laughs> to be very specific so don't expect uh, dimut to like talk 2 minutes or like even three minutes. he never talk that <laughs> career path i would say uh, i went to a, a cww uh, central college in mathukuma the first central college in sri lanka we we had teachers who are good at like different subject but language wise english was the best Uh, i would say like the most difficult part that i had when i was somewhere around like 18 my main fear factor was like how i overcome with this language barrier so somehow i realized it's me who has to understand this english knowing english 
or english it's not knowledge it's a medium so we don't need to worry about uh, whether you are good at english or whether you are very fluent so i realized that part then after i start like work on that i started my career as a, a, a program assistant or research assistant i do have a different kind of uh, academic background i did a, a special degree on uh, criminology so it's totally different what i am doing today but my passion was to like work with youth or like engage with people so i started as a uh, ngo sector uh, person uh barriers i would say rather than barriers i had like good time with like i felt every time in my life if i'm uh, if i was in a kind of a difficult era or situation i always had a mentor with me physically or like uh, i would say if there was a time like where i couldn't find a mentor i would say i can say like even i used to find people to the youtube listen to people so i never had a that kind of very difficulty situation but to overcome my fear hesitation connecting with people it took a lot of time i always say the sri lankan youth or sri lankan people talent wise they have they don't have any issue the oh, the main the biggest issue that we have we have a kind of a hesitation to connect with people because throughout our education system what we do is listen to our teachers or the instructor we never ever uh, able to like ask questions even through the uh, the area where i'm working to the embassies when we connect with the people when we ask people questions ask them to like share their stories no one speak that's what i have seen so i do believe like i cover you areas and like different areas as well it's what you thank you so much uh, you have answered to my another questions it is uh, how you how did you uh, manage your english knowledge and english uh, barriers uh, anyway uh, uh, mr bimitu uh, how did you t- uh, how did you manage your time uh, when you are learning in uh, business st- st- uh, statistics uh that's a difficult question so managing time is a unique uh, thing to person to person so everyone can use their own uh, ways to manage their times but to me uh, i understand what is my productive time so my productive time is at night so i never learn anything in day time or they do the uh, studies in the day times what i do is uh, it's it's uh, that's why i say unique it's uh against the common standards because everyone says that uh, learning in the early hours would be much productive but to me it's night hours so that's why i understand people are different to each other so they have to understand their uniqueness and their talent and where it is productive so i have understand myself so uh, that's what so how, how do i manage the time is uh, early i was uh, used to watch the hindi movies even now i can understand hindi watching that movies in my childhood even though i'm a, i'm the coming less economical family but i were used to go other neighborhood families and uh, watch the tv especially hindi movies at the sundays because in our childhood sunday there is a, a movie at 11 o'clock in every sunday so i was used to go anywhere yeah. I, wherever i can found a tv a black, black and white tv i will be there and i watch in the tv even today i can understand the hindi can speak a bit of as well but when it's come to the time management i had to sacrifice those when it's come to the studies i have to sacrifice those and focus to one thing but today also i te- uh, convey that message to the uh, our kids as well we have to touch it uh, i mean the at some point we feel it okay this is the time this is the time that we cannot play anymore we have to understand we have to go to our goal so when we are targeting that goal you have to sacrifice some things for the uh, achieve that goal so when it's come to the night i never uh, i don't know it's a common or not but only half an hour i watched something to as a break then i uh, then again studying until the 12 or 1 o'clock then i am getting good sleep so even today in the saturdays i am sleeping very well so <laughs> so that's my uh, enjoyable thing so uh, kind of thing it's unique to uh, person to person but according to me what i did is i uh, use my productive time as in the night and uh, sacrifice some uh, leisure time towards of my goal I I think like uh, Patun can resonate with you very well yeah. because he's a night owl <laughs> <laughs> he studied all night when he was studying for a levels 
So I think uh, Pratham also one thing is to add uh, to what uh, Timothy said. I think time also means discipline. If you are disciplined, then you will somehow find the time, no matter what. So that's also a key because uh, disciplining your life means you're also managing your time. Then the uh, the other thing is about sleep. You know, sleep deprivation is a huge issue. So um, I don't know if you can get about seven hours of sleep, then I think you become a very productive person now. All my life, you know, I mean, one thing if I did right is to actually sleep well. So to sleep well, you know, you have to basically work on your inner peace as well. So I think sleep is an integral part of one's life for greater, uh, not only productivity, but also for your, you know, future well-being and success as well. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, what are your universities, both of you? <laughs> so, <laughs> we both graduate from uh, University of Sri Jayawadharpura. I did a criminology special degree. He was more towards on stats. I'm I'm going to uh, go Sri Jayawadharpura University. I selected to uh, Jayawadharpura University. Wonderful, wonderful. W- what's your area of uh, management? Management. Very good. Then you have to talk to Sashikala a lot about management. But I'm sure being an intern here, you might have got some great ideas going to our 25 sectors. Exactly, I could. <laughs> okay, thanks. So, Natalia, I'm going to ask some questions from uh, uh, Mr. Ashan and then also uh, Mr. Dimuthu. Uh, before asking questions, wow. uh, I uh, warmly welcome you all to my uh, life. Because uh, in this great institute, I met many, many uh, different people, and you are you are one of the uh, great uh, guy. Uh, f- uh, both of you are uh, uh, few of the great guys in my uh, life. So my quest- first question is go uh, goes to both of you. Uh, what do you, what do you think think about this institute? Not the uh, institute, this great institute. So, I would say the foundation of goodness. How do I remember foundation of goodness? I remember, if I'm right, the the ground area. Uh, mut, uh, our great uh, baller uh, Mutaya Murder did a doc- documentary, something related to his uh, ball in action and all that. That's how I first time saw the ground. Then after I start to like uh, Google it about the foundation of goodness. So. Uh, even beforehand, I got to know Kushel, like I knew his background, what he was like doing. This is what actually the Sri Lankan who needs to like do to support the Sri Lankan community, youth, not only youth, even sometime even for the elders, they need our support. Rather than like stuck in your own world, I know like Kushel could have like have his own life and without involving in this anything. I would say like why I like foundation of goodness, especially his ambition and his goals. Even for me, why I'm here, it's because where I was able to see that the great initiatives happening through the foundation of goodness. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to like see other spaces as well, other branches, centers as well, but this is the first place like I uh, came across. For each and every human being, who are able to have a good life, a good, I would say, a good job, or whatever the achievement you want to achieve. Some of their lifetime, maybe when they are like 30 plus or 35 plus or 40 plus, they'll be always think about the satisfaction. Am I satisfied? To satisfy yourself, it's really difficult task. But then you come across your satisfaction always, comes through delivering something to the society. So I see the foundation of goodness doing that. I see a very uh, disciplined person who try to make this country better. So that's how I see, that's why the, the foundation of goodness is really an important for this country. Uh, or do you think? Frankly, I I'm, do not know much about the uh, institute, uh, but the uh, it's great pleasure to meet Kushil and understand what is this organization is. For my understanding is, 
Uh, you should have started before 20 years back. What I believe is then Tw- you can... 25. <laughs> 25 years. <laughs> then you can... Uh, 20 years after the tsunami. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so so it's, it's no, it won't be a, um, the easy journey. So you have came, uh, um, the, you have um, come across a long journey. So I believe that you have a lot to do. So uh, I see great future in here. Uh, but n- need to add some technical uh, abilities like uh, when you are doing the courses, you, you can add the NVQ levels or the any other certifications level. It would be more, uh, it will be ad- added value for the, this institute as well. So I believe that uh, that part should come to the institute. It will add a uh, great value. So other than that, uh, uh, we see that alpha leaders in the society many times, but the alpha leaders are not doing uh, much more to the society. But other than that, Kushil, that uh, he's alpha leader, so he's doing something to the society. So it's a very, very rare situation. So I'm proud of him being uh, as a Sri Lankan. Uh, okay, and thank you. Uh, and my first question, uh, my next question is going to you, Uncle. Uh, you said that uh, you are from very humble family and you hate English in your... Uh, childhood and have you learned english because uh, english is very uh, uh, english is a global language and you sh- uh, how you learn that uh. i would say if i ask a question from you do you speak singhala well or do you know all the grammars related to singhala i will definitely say like we are not good at even speaking singhala it's very tough language even the tamil language but English is a language, very kind of a funny, where like you can practice it. Sometimes, even without knowing the grammar structure, you can still practice it. And it makes you like connect with people. So, how I started, I would say like, I still remember when I was like 18 or like 17, I used to cry myself. Literally, I was like crying because I couldn't speak or even I couldn't write in English. My, when it's come to my family background, I have a sister, like she used to like do good at English. Even I would say my mom could like manage herself. So then I realized, okay, if I want to like achieve something, especially when it's come to society, the job market, I need to somehow uh, overcome this situation. So I started working myself, focusing on like watching more uh, English uh, language, mo- uh, English movies or uh, movies with subtitle. I used to listen uh, great personalities like, I don't know whether for everyone they will be great people, but Shah Rukh Khan. I used to listen to Priyanka Chopra. She is not that much uh, old lady, but I used to because they used to speak in English very professionally. And I remember um, Amir Khan. I improve my present perfect or the perfect tense through Amir Khan. He used a lot of perfect tense. Just listen to him. So it's it's very easy to like follow those people and the follow patterns and improve your vocabulary. That's what you need to do. Ultimately, it's all about you. You are the person. You will never ever able to fluent the language throughout you. Every time when you listen to someone, if you uh, hear something, you learn through that. So that would be my answer. Thank you very much. And my next question is go t- going to you, Uncle. Uh, when you start speaking here, you said that uh, this is your first uh, time speaking in a radio. What, uh, what, uh, what do you feel when you speak here? <laughs> <laughs> uh, to be honest, nervous, and uh, you know that you might uh, wonder that uh, whether I have do, done the presentation in my career for the larger people. No, I haven't done it anything anywhere. So other than I have, uh, is, um, I have spoken for hundred people when I was a class. Other than that, I have never spoken to a majority in a crowd like here. So it's not a nervous. It's, it's I would say English is a, a kind of rhythm of things. So I have never read of newspapers. I have I'm the I, I'm addicted to the uh, TV series, but uh, not kind of learning purposes for the enjoy thing. So when you are enjoying and when you are understanding what is the rhythm of learning, you might understand that is the key path to learn the English as well. So everyone has a uniqueness to understand the st- your strength. 
so when it's come to the english also there is a rhythm which is changing each i mean which is changes to uh, everybody so they have to understand what is the uh, i'm the productive way to myself so then they can understand the i'm the uh, be in the english in profession way i'm if you ask that am i a profession uh, profession in english no i'm just communicating because i got opportunity to be in a radio i, I just enjoying this uh, moment and i'm just communicating what i want to say that's all you have to communicate what you want to say in english that's yeah. all what about the english and natalia i mean this is our second language right so you don't need to be really scared um you just have to go out and speak and learn practice uh i have told so many rural students i know you don't have anybody to speak at home so then you listen to the tv maybe the news it's not the content of the news but the way the news is presented articulated you know and uh, from that you can earn uh, learn so much uh you know how the english is and sometimes you got to practice in front of the mirror as well you know so i don't know how you learned but you done really well um i know you said you keep speaking at home as well um and she said that uh, this is the third time i'm saying it and she said that i'm speaking to my father and i go home uh to learn english and also to the brother as much as she can and i said so why don't you speak to your mom he said i speak to my mother only when i'm hungry in english <laughs> and, and and she makes sure that my food is all ready you know so uh but a great girl who's got a lot of confidence and you know i'm sure she'll do really well going forward and i can't wait to pin this badge on you uh and make a presentation outside there with all the students uh, as the english little star time is catching up i think sashikal has to go but before that uh maybe we save the best for the last uh hasan is here uh and he's from thuru uh he's been an amazing uh, personality uh he is is an expert on uh, waste management and especially uh, plastics uh, disposal uh he's got a company called thuru and has done a lot of work i've known him for you now quite a few years uh he's come here and given some lectures to our students how to uh be environmentally savvy and and also protect our environment you know uh not littering and disposing as and you know we like you know but to keep the environment protected clean safe and everything so he's done he's done a lot of work and uh, you know he he's he's i have seen him also through linkedin i learned you know how he's made so much progress you know uh, better than you know always he used to be he's trying his level best to upscale all of the you know uh, the waste disposal management uh, systems uh, as now which is trending you know so uh, he i've been telling him we have this ocean care program uh in front of the hikka uh, trans we've taken 200 you know meters and and just make sure to make sure that our country is actually uh you know is safeguarded with uh, better reputation in when the foreigners come to make to see that everything is clean so we went and started to do this ocean care program because we love the sea on the one hand and on the other hand we want our foreigners who pay uh, to visit our country to enjoy clean beaches so but we didn't stop there you know i i i spoke to um asank as well and uh, i told him about the dashboard we have done uh where every week when we collect we we get the data on a dashboard and we know for that we how much of plastic how much of aluminum how much of polythene biodegradable you know uh, material that we collect so i think uh, hasanka we, we we warmly welcome you again i know you've been here uh you've been you have come here after quite a, quite some time but uh we're very glad to have you with us and uh, also i know you spoke to you know the team um as well how to improve going into the next season so thanks very much for being here advising us and uh, uh, giving um uh, your knowledge and expertise and resources to the the environmental uh, management protection team so i i think vishmi is uh, heading that uh and she's always doing she's from the shine 
women shine 50 a group uh, who's been picked recently she's one of them and we are very proud to have her working with us as well so uh, I, I just want you to add something uh, to our good news radio on, on the lines of you know uh, this is good news right so I think your work is anyway good news because you are, you're clearing you know all, all of the waste management in a way we even uh, Asanka I think for the first time, someone remarked that after the Parahara in Senegal, the pageant, I had a team that wish me led, uh, 33 goodness ambassadors. They were goodness ambassadors. So after the Parahara, they went and cleaned every day the waste that has been thrown into the streets. And, you know, whatever we collected, we collated that into, again, post pageant dashboard of waste disposal management in terms of plastic and all other items and for the first time i think after a pageant we i think we probably not to brag but on goodness but i think we 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 strategically uh, got the data because today data driven metrics and statistics is the way to go forward right so we put that up saying dashboard post pageant what we collected and I think you were one of those who actually liked the post and also commented. So again, uh, our heartfelt gratitude for you uh, in terms of helping us to enhance our standards. Thanks Asanka and over to you. Thank you Kushal and it's a great pleasure to, to recap you. Um, to me, like uh, meet you again. And also alongside uh, Ashan sure. is also here. Uh, yeah. Right. So uh, huge thanks needs to go to you for the consciousness. Like you do thousands, like you do, you are you are doing programs, delivering programs, like 30 programs, might be 30 plus, but uh, you also have that same passion towards nature. So you grow people in terms of goodness, in terms of quality and quantity. And also you're trying to inculcate that conscious to preserve and conserve the nature. So awareness is a key and then record keeping and really walk the talk is much needed. So you have started with your team and then they have that uh, uh, right mindset to deliver the next phase of uh, ocean care program. And what I see from foundation goodness is is the possibilities where you have more than 200,000 plus beneficiaries. That means probably we are you are reaching out to 200,000, 200K families. If you really want to change the system and if you really want to make differences in societies, so let's work with these young people and then raise, raise their awareness about what is plastic, what are the types of plastics, what is 3R, and as a person, what you can actually do based on your capacity, if it is like so segregation. So I see a huge opportunity lies in front of Foundation of Goodness with this 200k to 800k plus beneficiaries cumulati cumulatively what you what you have done for the last 25 years and and then the badges yet to go in coming years so each of them will have their consciousness their knowledge about waste different types of waste so segregation and then also appreciate and contribute uh, for whatever the waste management processes in Sri Lanka. So that's what uh, actually I see with Foundation of Goodness. That's why I came because you are 20 plus village heartbeat centers reaching out different coastal areas to northern part of Sri Lanka to the whatever the central part of Sri Lanka. You have the footprint and it's a matter of deploying with the right team uh, to do l greater impact related to climate actions. I think uh, having someone you, like you associated with us is, is, a, is a very positive, um, you know, like a 
uh, right step uh, in, in the direction that we want to go because we are not expert in everything no one person knows everything so that's why you have specialists in different different areas so we need to get the you know expertise exposure uh, and the knowledge to to uh, make things happen you know what we are good at is when we are told that this is the way to go we want to somehow chase and get that done um one of the things i want to talk to you as uh, as well as uh, you know enlighten nashan and dibutu what you may not know uh, is that uh, you were talking about uh, preserving nature you know these coastal villagers they were depend they did something really wrong and that is the the, the no one talks of the possible you know it's not a good thing to say you know tsunami you know completely devastated an unprecedented tragedy but it also did something positively right and uh, that is all of this coastal villages were breaking the corals for so long hundreds of years they went out to the shore now people talk about free diving right those days uh, you know you used to have kids at 16 years dive right 5 to 10 meters break the coral and come up in 2 minutes right and they were not having any apparatus but they dived freely so now people talk about free diving right but these guys were diving so the the, the story went we ate from the sea and the sea ate us or we destroyed the sea and the sea destroyed us right and to see all the coral that was broken come back up into life again and restored uh, is an unbelievable experience trust me you know when we go now and because we have planted corals we have uh, done restoration of corals and everything but when we see uh, the, the when you go to snorkel in our areas now the, the seabeds are now full of corals that has grown in 20 years but they were all broken and what they did here was they broke the coral brought it into a kiln and then they you know uh, burnt it and, and like a primer or, or you know they they applied on the on the walls uh to, to before you paint you know it was like a you know um smoothen the walls so um but thankfully that industry came to a halt completely nobody could stop so i think we learned the hard way and that's why the tsunami went up to about 1 and 1/2 2 kilometers in our areas as supposed to subsequent research showed that wherever the coral was intact and wherever the there was breakwater that went up to only about 500 meters but ours was a free flow it just kept going so people learned the hard way and and the the, the another positive outcome that happened uh, hasanka was we were able to quickly put together a dive for good center so we we got all the youth to become you know professional divers today we have actually rec- we have given 501 uh, divers uh, certificates of learning how to dive 6 months and every single one of them is gainfully employed either here or overseas so it's been an amazing run you know and i was saying in the morning it's 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 a lovely feeling to have when somebody calls me from either qatar or saudi arabia or kuwait or saying you know i'm diving i'm earning 500000 rupees uh, uh you know thanks to your free course uh it, it's a real you know good feeling to have uh but i can't tell you even uh, i mean if you take america in the last you know let's say 6 7 months or one year how many states have been hit very badly by hurricane and tornadoes and unbelievable it's been devastated completely however much money you have and you have the best houses on the coast everything has just gone completely berserk like the tsunami we experienced so we have to protect the nature and the climate action needs to be done you know we we go to conferences with large numbers right uh, as opposed to some of the other countries who go with the best team you know you can count with your fingers so um, when they come back they implement those things they get things going you know say i come to you you are the expert on this area you give me the you know 
things to do like a do list you know and and i what i am good at is you know i'll i'll drive that i'll drive that so when we go to a climate uh, action conference and they tell you do this do this and the other you have to come back and make sure we've done go back for the next at climate conference and say all that you said to us we have done today that's how it should be asanka i don't know yeah you finished okay <laughs> sorry for talking too much but uh well this is the good news radio uh and uh, I, i think sashikala is here trying to run off uh, as usual we've all anyway we've had about a, a, a hours uh, discussion so thanks very much again to uh, ashan dimutu and asanka for being here thank you for your time more than anything else i know uh you 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 have heeded to my call to come here to the fountain of goodness but we are very grateful that all three of you took this time and trust me you you will rejoice in advancing years thinking of this you know change you made to the kids who wanted to you know learn from you how to become better than they used to be thank you very much to all three gentlemen for sacrificing their saturday and the entire day saturday and coming all the way to sini gama uh, thank you for the great work and may your may these good deeds be with you for a long time and with that ladies and gentlemen we have come to the end of this segment but do stay tuned as the good news radio will be here till 5 pm and as we end this segment we thank mr kushu for graciously hosting this uh, segment and natali would you like to end the segment say thank you to everyone uh, thank you dear gen- um, i can say gentlemen thank you for uncle that uh, uncle uh, sir is a gentleman <laughs> 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 so thank you for uh, being with us and thank you for participating to this uh, good news radio and i i learn many things from you uh, so again i and again and again i have to say very nice and and sashi will now you're going to run away right yeah time is up <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> and we haven't heard from vishmi vishmi now we'll start the um program in now the singala star ඉතින් ආයි විදිහට සූදානම් අවසන් කරන්න ගුඩ් වලන්ටියර් සෙග්මන්ට් එක ඉතින් ඉන්න අතර අපි දවස් සෙග්මන්ට් එකක් එක්ක පතුම් එකතු වෙන්න සූදානම් පතුම් මැනේෂික් නෙක්ස්ට් සෙග්මන්ට් එකට අපි යන ගමන් සූදානම් ගුඩ් වලන්ටියර් සෙග්මන්ට් එක මේ විදිහට නිමා කරන්න දිගටම අපි වහගෙන ඉන්න අපේ ගුඩ් නිවුස් රේඩියෝ